Just gonna goof around with the blues a little bit now. We all love the blues and we all have different ways to play it. There's all. <laughs> Right? The trick way is how do you get to that four chord? So, so you want to get your defining thirds, right? You know, instead of just, you know, most people wouldn't define thirds or add a. So, really, you're just kind of going up a half step on the ninth chord to the four chord, but instead of just jumping right to the four chord, so you're... And here's the money. While you're waiting on that one, you can always... Right? And you can play around because the bass player, you know, even if he's playing on the root, you, you can still the flat five lick. You can even get ballsy and play the third. And then back to the one. Don't be afraid of those plus fives or the thirds. It's prettier, it's not as ugly muddy waters, but it opens up another way for you to think in terms of vocabulary. You can get out of that. The six is an important way to get to. I mean, some people, I like a floating bridge. Now, you have to have a floating bridge for this to work. And uh, with all due respect, uh, nobody does it better than Mr. Beck. Uh, there's a lot of country guys that mess with this, but uh, I've had the great honor of sitting and watching how Jeff does it because he's one of my favorite guitar players. It rubs off. I never play like the guy, but nobody ever plays like their heroes, but they can be influenced by it. So I can make it my own, you know? <laughs> It's very fluid, liquidy sounding, for lack of a better term, you know what I mean? Instead of a... You go... So where you're, you're actually, instead of just bending, you go... Where you're using this is almost like a slide guitar. Five ten. The, our, knowing your arpeggios really helps. 